Awesomeness TV, the cringeworthy place where overly hot teenagers stroke their egos. But I bet you didn't know they had a show on Nickelodeon, and boy is it bad. Listen, I don't mean to hate on things. Well, yeah, I do, but I've disliked this network for a while. It wasn't until I saw their show on Nickelodeon that it literally pissed me off to the point where I need to make this. If you don't know what Awesomeness TV is, it's basically a YouTube network that creates original, original. content. It was created in 2012 by Brian Robbins, the guy who brought you these classics. Channels that don't know any better sign up with the belief of lots of money, becoming a star, and a bunch of other shit. Believe it or not, this channel has holy shit over 87,000 channels. How can a network possibly make that many people happy? Oh wait, they don't. What am I supposed to do? You know, I can't leave this Awesomeness TV bullshit ass, half ass piece of shit system for two years because of a contract I didn't even know I signed. I do not accept the partnership from them. They are the devil. Believe it or not, this company sold to DreamWorks for $33 million. So with this, Awesomeness TV started a new channel called DreamWorks TV and began to create some really great original content starring your favorite DreamWorks characters. You're thinking, I can't freestyle rap. Fee fee fi fi fo fo fun, Shrek ain't no average ogre son. They mainly focus on making content for the most broad audience who enjoys cheap crap humor and everything wrong with modern society. The videos they produce are, well, let's take a look. Their actors who are in their videos are some of your all-time favorites, like that girl from Friday who is apparently now a star or something. Or Leah Murray Johnson, you know, that girl from Kids React who has her own YouTube channel with over a million subscribers. What the hell does she do? Oh yeah, that's well deserved. So after creating a record label, the network produced just another piece of shit to add to Nickelodeon. Actually, you know what? I think we need to take a look at this show together. Let's let's just take a look. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Awesomeness. Oh hey, look, it's that annoying girl from Victorious. I wonder if she acts like a white girl teenage celebrity douche. Yep. Also, what the hell is this? Every time this show makes a goddamn scene transition, the audience goes insane and the kids say kids dot go or some shit. Kids ready go? What are they saying? Oh hey look, it's Leah. This is gonna look really natural. Also, why are these cuts being inconsistent to the last one? She looks different in each cut. But listen, even if I'm not gonna be nitpicky here, there are laugh tracks to things that aren't funny. Uh, you know what? We'll get to those later. It's important to pick a lightweight, breathable material. Also, if you haven't noticed it, you can tell that this was done in one or two takes as her dialogue is pieced together. I mean, what is this? Abandoned? Barber, otherwise known as my mother with the long clippers. They play the laugh track before she makes the joke! Oh my god, all this production quality and they couldn't even put something over the Apple logo? Don't worry guys, we'll just edit it in post! Also, they blurred the logo out in the sketch, but not in the credits in the exact same shot. Did they forget or something? Got a brand new iMac! <laughs> oh. oh great, they do this kind of shit too. <laughs> Wait, what? The hell was the point of that? Okay, you know what? I can't ignore this anymore. Now, I'm assuming the writers know their jokes won't get that many laughs, so they said, FILL IT WITH LAUGH TRACKS. And we got this abomination. If you watch the show in its entirety, you'll realize that more than half of the laugh tracks that are used are completely unnecessary. It makes it annoying and irritating to watch. Just, oh, let's get through the rest of this. Just thought I'd uh, have my little song debut here on... Awesomeness myself. You used to meow so loud at night. And now I think about it and I miss you. Meow, 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 meow. Ha ha ha. Classic comedy. Once upon a time, a puberty ago. Nope. All right, I'm not even joking. <laughs> when I first saw this, I teared up a little bit. It's just the cringe level of this is just through the roofs, I'm telling you. Also, I'm probably gonna get a copyright strike from this, aren't I? All right, we've seen some pretty juvenile things so far, and we think it's time to act just a little bit more mature and show you something 
maybe a little more grown up, like this next scene. Me and Jojo wanted a cool, refreshing drink after a long day of playing. Well, we found no more fruit juice. Are these two famous or something? Because they need subtitles under them to understand what they're saying. Wait a minute, is that Comic Sans? Because if it is, fuck you. Also, there's a juice box right there. I don't know if anyone noticed. Nope. Blue shot after school? I don't need to take that. Nope. Nope. Oh, hey, look, we're done. Okay, I'm not saying that this is the worst show I have ever seen. Oh, wait, yes, it is. I'm honestly 100% confident in saying that this is the worst show I have ever seen in my entire life. With both lack of creative and comedic abilities, this show tries to pass lazy shit writing and bad directing off as it just being for kids. But guess what? Kids shows can actually be done well if anyone who's making it actually gave a shit. But here's the problem about this show, no one gave a fucking shit about it. And it's just so lazy in everything it does. Remember the first sketch with Leah? That was written, directed, and edited by the same person. What do you expect with that? Well this. This is the problem with modern day Nickelodeon. They keep taking ideas that the marketing team say are good and turning them into shows. Everything on the internet that people may think looks good and is for children usually will not turn out well in shows. I'm just gonna name off a few. Oh, I don't know, hmm, maybe react to that or the Fred show? Those two, hmm, yeah, pretty shit. Nickelodeon needs to wake up and see that their audience is more important than their executives. Because this, this is bad. And guess what, Nickelodeon? Cartoon Network's better. Anyway, yeah. Awesomeness TV is downright terrible and needs to stop. My name is Jake, and thank you very much for watching.